Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we're unboxing the Pixamar Canon 6850. So it comes complete with cartridges, set up cartridges of course, so they will be half empty, as you never get a full cartridge with a new printer. Uh, moving further along, let's see the usual setup manuals, driver CD, and some sheets of sample A4. Full paper. That's handy. It's this side, just the plug. Okay, right, let's get this thing out of the box. Just checking the back of the printer, we've got a power connector here, and at this side we've got our USB and Ethernet connector. From what I'm hearing, the wireless isn't the best on these printers, and it's recommended to use the Ethernet connection. So all the usual stuff, just take off all the tapes and stuff like that. So there'll probably be tapes in here as well. Uh, so ideally I want to just leave that top one on. Apparently it, this bit here, because of the type of material I've used, it really collects a lot of dust. It's like a big dust magnet. Uh, inside. A few bits of pieces, tape here and there to take off. Cartridge bits and stuff will be in there. Probably here to take the back tape off actually, just to get this, this tree but up, unless that's going to come up itself. Magic. We can leave some of the tape on. It does take up quite a bit of space. But I should be fine there. So moving all the tapes and stuff, this one here is pretty much just our transportation thing where to hold the ink thing in. It might be worthwhile keeping a hold of this in case you want to be transporting your printer about. You could take your cartridges out and lock that back into place. So I might be holding on to that one. So I'm just switching this on for the first use to install the ink cartridges. So after a few minutes of that going back and forward, so after a few minutes of that going back and forward, the print head will set there ready for you to place your ink in. So we'll just take you open these cartridges, a wee bit fiddly. So I recommend that you turn these upside down. You be careful how you take this one off. And that's you. So all the cartridges in, lights on, time to close the lid and press the start button. In fact, let's move it on to itself. Oh yeah. So that light there will flash for about three minutes. So our paper's going to sit straight in the middle. We've got the wee levers here just to lock that in. So you only have to move the one and the other one will do it for you. And then we're going to do our alignment test. So I'll see your Wi-Fi lights come on as well. So we'll touch that button there, it'll start flashing, then it should do a uh, print head alignment. So once the print head alignment's done, it'll do a self test and it should give you a print out. Surprised where everyone's always blue. I just thought they used all the colours. So this is just a test print, just checking the skin tones and image quality. Um, it's really quite a sharp print, I'm not sure how well you can see this in this. Uh, we're really quite happy with that one. So this is on Lustier paper. Colours in the landscape look really, really well. Uh, detail, the sharpness. Everything looks just as you would expect. For a lab print. So now we're setting up the printer using the QR code in the book. Uh, it downloads the app on your phone to try and go through the Wi-Fi setup, although it didn't work in this case. I think the router was too far away for the printer. We did try WPS and it did say it was connected, although we couldn't actually find it on the app. So we had to use the USB to connect. So to sum up, this is a good printer. Definitely worth the money if you're looking to buy your first A3 printer. Happy printing!